Hey, how's it going there? So, uh, yeah. gotta get the brightness up on here. There we go, there we go. So this is kind of my setup I've been uh, doing the last maybe three weeks or so. I've been kind of spending some time on Craigslist, doing Craigslist stuff. Uh, got my Snuggie here. I don't know if I don't know if you guys know about Snuggies, but uh, yeah, these things are pretty nice. Just kind of get your arms in there like that. Oh, there it is. Ah, uh, so you got a little blanket session there. Pretty nice. So you can just kind of hang out here and uh, got the laptop set up, um, hitting uh, hitting Craigslist and. Uh, Kind of been inspired recently by some uh, some YouTubers and uh, you know some uh, alternative lifestyle, some uh, minimalists as well, and uh, kind of tiny house movement kind of stuff. So that's been ins inspiring me a lot, and uh, you know just kind of realizing I don't really need so much to live, and looking to simplify, and also continue. Uh, exploring and adventuring and so um, I've decided to start looking for some type of vehicle recreational vehicle you know something that I can kind of um, spend time in um, instead of having an apartment or a room I'm renting just uh, you know pay for the vehicle pay for the gas pay for the insurance and uh, just kind of spend most of my time in that exploring everything around um, just uh, a lot of cool places to see in my state, uh, Washington State, and a lot of great cities, you know, a lot of good hiking, um, there's all sorts of islands and stuff, that, we got a great ferry system here, you can get out to anywhere, really, and, you know, Canada's real close to here, Idaho, Oregon, you know, I could drive out to Colorado, um, and you know, the possibilities are endless. I could drive all the way to the East Coast, I could drive down to Florida, up to New York, whatever, you know, once you got your home with you, and you're completely mobile, you got all your stuff, really is endless possibilities, and so, kind of been, uh, inspired by that, and hoping to find a van, because, um, I feel like vans are more economical than an RV, plus they... Sometimes they're more dependable as well, and, you know, the maintenance isn't going to be quite as expensive. So I've been looking at a lot of different types of vans, you know, going between so many different things, um, trying to decide what I like and uh, what's going to fit my personality and what's going to fit my needs for space and whatnot, but also be pretty dependable because I want to take it cross-country, you know? And so... Um, been a lot of different things, a lot of different options. Um, I'd say a lot of people think that those uh, Volkswagen buses are the coolest thing ever. Those Westfalias, you know, the Van Eggens, they are. They're badass. I completely agree, you know. But you got to know how to work on them. You got to, you know, take time to care for them. And they're not known for being the safest and the most reliable. And the gas mileage isn't the best, but... um. They are beautiful, and they are something I would consider getting in the future, that's for sure. Uh, but as of right now, I think I'm looking for something a little bit more dependable, maybe. But I'm still leaning toward all sorts of stuff. It's really hard to know. So, uh, let me just show you some of the stuff, like... Sorry to cover you up there. On uh, Craigslist I've been looking at. This is one car I stumbled upon, and immediately was just like, Oh my god! That is a beautiful machine right there. So it's like an old Dodge Caravan, uh, 94. And I saw this, and that wood paneling, and I was just, oh my god, that, that could be it. That could be my car. And for a while, I thought that, would be, that was going to be the one. But then I just started getting a little more responsible and looking at, uh, you know, looking at the reviews of the cars, and it doesn't have the best reviews, honestly. You know, it looks good. It's got low miles, only 104,000 for a 94. That's crazy low. And plus you get the wood paneling. And I love the wood paneling, you know? The woody style just kind of breathes this, like, hippie, beachy kind of person, you know? Travel-y and 
I think it'd be super cool. And so, but you know, Dodge Caravan is just not as reliable as I thought. And so, started looking at other vans, uh, Astro vans. You know, I was looking at these. It was like a purple one I found. Pretty sweet. Definitely a lot of space in the back. And um, I think uh, it has potential. You know, I plan to kind of like build it and renovate the inside with a bunch of like uh, smart designs um, that are multifunctional. Like if you ever see the tiny house movement stuff, everything has more than one purpose. You know, your bed folds up and there's storage in it and then you know your sink has pull out tables or whatever your drawers can fold down into I don't know you know another bed frame or something like that you know everything has multi-purpose and therefore no space is wasted uh, here's another pretty sweet one I found it's like uh, old Astro uh, Aerostar my bad and um, it looks pretty nice um, I definitely dig the paint job on it with this uh, this tribal symbol um, on there pretty awesome uh, these vans have pretty good amount of space as well and uh, you know this is a, a cargo one so it doesn't really have like a nice interior but um, I plan to maybe make some uh, insulated walls and uh, start putting up some uh, you know good interior and as well as uh, build custom furniture for the inside of these and so you know, anything can be a blank canvas, you know, whatever you got to start with could really turn it into something nice. Uh, let's see what else I got here. Um, this one's a, this one's like a regular minivan, um, Chrysler Voyager. You know, I, I considered these a little bit, but honestly, I want to have like a cool van. I don't want to have like a soccer mom looking van. You know, I just feel like these kind of have the, too much of that going on. I kind of want something a little bit more unique, and uh, I did look at a couple, you know, here's another one, you know, they got low miles and they're cheap, and so it's hard to say no, but that's not really the image I'm looking to to represent, and so uh, looking for something a little bit, you know, more my personality, something a little bit uh, more fun, and uh, looks more like an adventure vehicle, you know, something that... Uh, that uh, I can hippie out and put some uh, sweet uh, rainbow blankets and stuff in there and, uh, you know, make it really cool and uh, a good a good vehicle for travel, you know, as well as uh, looking pretty badass and surfery. And uh, so this is kind of my situation. I just kind of chill on the computer. Sometimes end up spending uh, several hours in the evening kind of doing this and it kind of can be uh, a lot sometimes, and I find myself staying up late. And uh, I take some notes here, you know, write down certain models and uh, their mileage. I got it all, you know, I got a year, make, model, mileage, price, uh, Craigslist ID, and then a few details. And so I kind of like do that. Um, I even do some, like, equations and some math. Um, you know, I was like, if I paid this much for the car... And it gets, uh, you know, this good a fuel economy. And, you know, here, you know, if, it, if the car got, uh, you know, 30 miles to the gallon, this is what I'd be paying. And this is when I would pay it off. And this is if it's got, like, um, 30 miles to the gallon, 40 miles to the gallon. And I was also looking at hybrids for a while, but they're not going to have the space I need. So, um, yeah, doing some equations and some math here and stuff like that, calculated in expenses you know, how much it would, how many miles it would be to visit my parents, to visit my grandma, to go out to farms and stuff, and, um, so that's good, you know, you gotta take everything into consideration and just kinda, um, let me put the camera back here, and you just gotta kinda consider everything and, you know, be smart about it. I didn't wanna just jump into a vehicle too quickly, uh, just cause it looks cool, doesn't really mean that, uh, it's going to be dependable and it's going to be what you want and uh, it's hard to fight that urge because you know the West Folias, they look awesome and you know when you see one for cheap you're like oh I should get that but at the same time you're going to be dumping thousands of dollars into it you know um, my brother used to have one and he said he put about he got it for only 500 bucks and he ended up putting about eight thousand dollars into it to get it up to where he wanted it to be and so it's a pretty hefty amount compared to getting like a Toyota van or something, 
um, that, uh, that really is dependable and you don't really have to put that much maintenance into, so that's nice. Um, but yeah, um, just kind of been inspired by uh, a lot of minimalist lifestyle. Um, this guy, thrivingminimalist.com, has a great channel. Um, Exploring Alternatives, really great channel, inspiring uh, Canadians that are living in a van. And uh, just completely happy and sublime lives, you know. It's just really uh, inspiring to see people in such small spaces uh, living, you know, such big dreams and big adventures. And it's pretty awesome. And so, um, yeah, this is the beginning of my journey shopping for cars and uh, looking at different vans, um, seeing what's going to have the space I need. And also been watching a lot of videos about people doing interior design on their vans and... Uh, you know, what kind of works for them, and so, uh, you know, eventually I'm going to have something here, I don't know when it's going to be, you know, it could be another week, could could be tomorrow, I'm just hoping that that one's going to pop up, it's really going to spark my interest, and uh, be able to, to be what I need, and have good low miles, and a good price, and so, uh, yeah, that's about it for uh, shopping for a van, um, We'll see you later.